So let's say we want to run a regression. How do we do that? Well, here we've got a few different variables, um, and we've got data. So each of these rows here would be a single person that we've collected um, information on these variables for. Let's say we wanted to predict how much sleep a person gets uh, based on the anxiety rating. And this is only going to apply for the statistics class in which I conducted this um, because that was where that was where our sample was taken. And, and there's no reason to think that's uh, representative of all college students. But how would we conduct that? Well, first of all, we need the right tools. We need this data analysis um, tab in Excel. And to get that, you can go to File, Options, Add-ins, and uh, Manage Excel Add-ins, Analysis Tool Pack. Now, your computer may be a little different, especially if it's a Mac. Um, you can Google how to do that. But once you get that, um, you would go down to Regression. OK. Uh, your Y range would be the variable you're trying to predict. So that would be right there. The X range would be the variable that's going to be your predictor variable. We do have labels there, so we click that. And then we would just hit OK. So that's how we get our output. Um, and here is our regression equation then. So the great equation would be the rating of how much sleep you get is 64.7 plus negative 0.15 times whatever the anxiety score is. Notice that the slope is negative, so that's telling us it's a negative relationship. And in fact, we could, uh, sorry, we could see this if we insert a scatter plot like this. And if we click on a dot, add a trend line, we should be able to see a negative line there. We can get our R squared value. Uh, right there, so 0 0.069, not a real strong correlation, but there is some negative relationship saying that um, here the anxiety was our x value. So the more anxious a student rates themselves as, the less sleep they tend uh, to get, or the less sleep they tend to rate themselves as getting. So that's how we would run a regression. And interpreting these results, uh, we would take a look at that um, here in an, in an upcoming video. Now, what if we wanted to predict um, how much sleep we get from all of these combined? That's called multiple regression. And to do that, it's very similar. We'd still go to data, data analysis, regression. Our y value range would stay the same. The only thing different in running the regression is that our x range now includes that entire set, and we would hit OK. And then there'd be some differences in interpreting it here. Um, the equation is still the same idea. Predicted sleep equals 54, that's our intercept, plus 0.039 times the outdoor rating, plus 0.23 times the formally dress rating, plus negative 0.19 times the anxiety rating. So it just, the equation gets a little bigger, but it's the same, same idea. And then we could even look here to see how the three different variables did at predicting. Uh, the lower the p-value, the better the predictor was. So it looks like anxiety is a better predictor of how much sleep someone gets than how much time they spend outdoors or how formally they dress when coming to the class. Again, at least for the class of statistics student that this data uh, was taken from.